Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Online Classroom. Today we will discuss the topic Basic Ideas of Matrices. It will be very much helpful for 12th standard and also for engineering students. Okay, so let's start the corresponding topic. Well, first of all we need to know where the idea of matrix actually comes from. Okay, now in normally 19th century one of the mathematician Sylvester's first uh, you know apply the idea of matrix whereas far behind Calais in 1850 he actually gives the idea of matrix in his research paper so that is the you know history of matrix now question will arise obviously what is your matrix well matrix is nothing but a rectangular array of numbers well it will contain m number of suppose rows and n number of columns that means it is a rectangular array which contain m number of rows and n number of columns now in this figure you can also focus on the matrix look normally matrix is denoted by the symbol third bracket or it may be first bracket like this and these are the elements like a11 a12 a13 and so on okay and also if you move to downward this one a21 next a31 and so on now these particular things are called rows okay so horizontal portions these are called rows of matrix so here we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 maybe increase okay now we also focus on the column part these are basically column the vertical line this one this one these are basically columns okay so here you can see that one two three four and so on so these are the basically columns now how we will uh, you know denote one of the element of matrix look a11 this particular one it is denoted the row number okay and this particular one it is denoted the column number so this means first row first column next one this is your first row second column next one this is your first row third column elements similarly if I choose this one this is your second row first column second row second column second row third column and so on so that is the idea of matrix that means we can easily put the elements in this corresponding structure now question will arise how we can relate this particular idea with real life look this is a book shelf right and you can observe that several you know boxes are there and obviously we just uh, you know placed some of the books in the corresponding boxes so this is one of the matrix obviously here first second third fourth and this is fifth five row it may be uh, one two three it may be more columns so this is one of the basic example of matrix so we got the idea what is matrix and also the structure of the matrix next we will focus on order and dimension of the matrix very important idea it is obviously we have this question and our mind in mind is in dilemma what is the idea of order look this is a matrix first calculate how many rows are there basically one two so two rows are there and obviously we have one two three four four columns are there the order of a matrix is nothing but number of row cross number of columns so it will be two row cross four columns so order will be two cross four if I consider only this particular matrix you can observe that one two three four four rows are there but only one column so obviously its order will be four cross one now moves on to the next one this one here we can observe that one two three four four columns are there but all the corresponding numbers placed in a single row so the order will be one cross four so that is the answer of 
order and dimension of a matrix okay so we got the result next we are focusing on square matrix well square square means obviously all the sides are same like this so number of rows and number of columns if these two values are same then it is called a square matrix look this particular figure uh, here two row and two columns are there so the order will be two cross two here one two three row similarly one two three columns are there so its order will be three cross three and similarly if we focus on this particular matrix here one two three four four rows are there and one two three four four columns are there so it is your four cross four square matrix that means square matrix should be either two cross two three cross three four cross four five cross five like this where the number of row and number of columns are same but if the corresponding matrix like two cross four this is not a square matrix well we can say that this is one of the rectangular matrix so that is the difference between rectangular matrix and square matrix square matrix must be equal number of row and equal number of columns but in the rectangular matrix row number and color number may be same may not be okay so that is the complete idea of dimension of a matrix now we are focusing on the next topic that is your diagonal matrix now what is diagonal matrix basically our mind it is, is in dilemma well look at this particular matrix this is a n by n matrix and focus on this particular direction this particular direction is called principal diagonal okay if i consider a matrix where the members of the principal diagonals are present but rest of the elements like uh, you know this way and this way these are basically zero only some non zero numbers are there in the principal diagonal then it is called diagonal matrix so this is one of the example 2 9 this is the principal diagonal but other elements are zero similarly if i focus on this particular matrix look 1 2 5 all the members are placed in the principal diagonal but rest of the elements are zero so this is one of the example of diagonal matrix okay now we are focusing on next topic that is your identity matrix what is the identity matrix idea look if the diagonal elements are one look if all the diagonal elements are one then it is called identity matrix okay this is your 2 by 2 identity matrix and this is your 3 by 3 identity matrix 3 ones are there similarly this is your 4 by 4 identity matrix rest of the elements are zero so we can conclude that every identity matrix it is a diagonal matrix no problem but all the diagonal matrices is not a identity matrix so that is the total concept of diagonal matrix and identity matrix normally we use the notation i2 i3 i4 in case of identity matrix okay i2 means second order identity matrix this one is third order and this one is fourth order so that is the complete idea of diagonal matrix as well as identity matrix okay so move some to the next portion upper triangular matrix lower triangular matrix well we are very much confused what is upper triangular and what is lower triangular so let's discuss first focus on upper triangular matrix look this is the diagonal this is the diagonal okay and this particular portion is zero all the elements of below diagonals these are basically zero but all the elements more or less which actually placed in the upper portion of the diagonal these are non zero if this kind of structure uh, comes out then it is called upper triangular matrix okay now we focus on lower triangular matrix just reverse idea nothing else that means this is your principal diagonal this is okay 
lower portion is non zero but look the upper portion these elements are zero so this is your lower triangular matrix okay so that is the classification of upper triangular and lower triangular matrix next question will arise what is your null matrix null means basically it is zero normally it is denoted by the symbol uh, zero or two cross two that means you know this is a square matrix obviously so look if all the elements are zero in a matrix then it is called a null matrix this is two by two and this is your three by three if all the elements are zero okay so this is your corresponding null matrix idea you can increase the corresponding order also okay and you can also consider rectangular null matrix no problem as it is so that is the complete idea of upper triangular lower triangular and null matrix okay so we got the answer next very important topic it is what is your transpose of a matrix well look first of all we considered a general matrix in this place the members are a c b b a c c b a like this okay now what is the transpose transpose means basically we will change the row position into column and the column position into row okay that means look this particular row a c b this row will be placed in case of first column okay that means first row is converted into first column okay next second row this is your b a c okay this is converted into second column b a c and this one c a b this is your third row so after transpose we have c b a so that is your column that means interchange of row and column that is the idea of transpose okay now let us discuss some example here we consider a matrix 1 2 3 4 5 6 look the order is 2 cross 3 because here number of row is 2 and number of column is 3 so if I make transpose of this matrix it will be look the order will be just reverse 3 cross 2 okay and the corresponding member 1 2 3 this the row member will be converted into column member and this particular row member will be converted into second column member so how many rows we get here first row second row third row so we have basically three row and two columns so that is the transpose of a matrix from the original matrix this one and you can observe that here the order is 2 cross 3 but after making the transpose we got the reverse order that means 3 cross 2 like this so next question will arise if there is a square matrix like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 if I make it transpose what is the order so if I make this transpose the order basically same because it is a square matrix so its order is 3 cross 3 so after making the transpose the order remain 3 cross 3 whereas the first row actually first column second row second column and third row third column so that is the basic concept of transpose of a matrix so we got this idea transpose of a matrix very important topic it is now we will utilize this particular idea into other characters of matrices well next topic is symmetric matrix now what is symmetric matrix look if a equal to a transport that means suppose a matrix is given suppose this matrix is given you can observe that the members are 1 2 3 2 4 6 3 5 8 so it is a 3 cross 3 matrix now we just make one transpose of this corresponding matrix so it becomes this one after making the transpose look the corresponding two matrices are same look if I apply transpose 1 2 3 that is your first column 2 4 5 that is your second column and 3 5 8 that is your third column but look these two matrices are same also 
if you follow the diagonal this particular diagonal and this particular diagonal if i fold the corresponding matrix with respect to this diagonal if i fold this corresponding matrix with respect to this diagonal the elements are actually same look 2 2 3 3 5 5 that means they are actually merged okay so this is the basic idea of symmetric matrix that means a and a equal to a transpose that is the basic concept next topic is skew symmetric matrix well if there is a matrix a and after the transpose we got minus a transpose that means if a equal to minus a transpose then it is called q symmetric matrix look a is given this is the corresponding matrix and if we interchange the row and columns we got this matrix a transpose okay you can check 0 minus 1 minus 2 that is your first column 1 0 minus 1 that is your second column 2 1 0 that is your third column so we get the a transpose okay interestingly suppose if i consider minus a what is minus a minus 1 actually multiplied with all the members so if i multiply minus 1 throughout the members it will be 0 this becomes 1 this becomes 2 this is your minus 1 0 plus 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 so look minus a all the members of minus a these are actually you know same with the a transpose value so we can say that a and minus a transpose these are same so that is the idea of skew symmetric matrix that means if i make this transpose and we get a equal to minus a transpose that will gives us the idea of skew symmetric matrix well so finally we got this kind of answer like symmetric skew symmetric obviously using the idea of transpose so next we will focus on the next topic in the upcoming lecture okay now in the upcoming lecture we will discuss the corresponding addition multiplication and other rules of matrices so till now thank you hope we, we will you will enjoy this corresponding session so we will meet in the next topic in the next video okay thank you again